One way to decide between wants and the next best alternative is to use a formal decision-making process. If you search online, you'll find a number of them, and one of the most popular is the six-step decision-making process that uses the acronym of D-I-E-C-A-R, or DICAR. These letters stand for define the problem, identify the choices, evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of each choice, choose one of your choices, act on that choice, and then review your decision. For example, at lunch, you have the choice of cheese or sausage pizza for lunch. How do you decide which one to choose? Well, first, you're going to define the problem. You need to choose which variety of pizza to have for lunch. Next, we identify the choices. In this example, it's pretty simple. You have cheese or sausage pizza. Now, we need to evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of each choice. Basically, make a list of the pros and cons of each. What might they be? It could be that you generally do meatless Fridays, and today is a Friday. It might be that you had sausage pizza yesterday, and you're looking for something different. It could simply be that you saw the sausage pizza come right out of the oven, and the cheese pizza looks like it's been sitting there longer. Now you need to choose between the two. What did your list of pros and cons recommend to you? Next, act on your choice. And lastly, review your decision. Here, you are telling yourself that you made the right decision and why. You get to your table to eat lunch, take a bite, and say, yeah, I made the right decision. That was easy. We can use this process in all kinds of things to help us make smart decisions.